Get some one-arm dumbbell rows, lat specifics. So I'm gonna give you guys a few certain cues. This may be a little bit different than how you guys have done your lat, uh, your lat rows before, okay. um, but it's gonna add to what we just got done here. So let's roll, guys, come on. All right, so a problem I've seen a lot of people doing their, their rows, their one-arm dumbbell rows, is they're not, they're not training intentionally. They're basically trying to use every muscle to move the weight. We're specifically using the lats. So first thing we have, to, we have to understand is what is the function of the lat and what is it actually designed to do? It runs vertically, attaching underneath the shoulder here. So it's gonna run down this way and then wrap around and attach to the spine. So knowing that that's the angle that the muscle fibers are running in, we want to replicate that movement in our row. Now obviously being horizontal, it's challenging to replicate a horizontal movement. So a few cues I wanna give you guys. Okay, we wanna get our upper body as close to horizontal or as close to, yeah, horizontal to the floor as possible. This leg, so the arm that we're rowing with is the leg that we're gonna to wanna to have in front. A lot of people simulate a, a lawnmower row motion this way. And what, is that, what ends up happening is there's a rotational aspect to the row, but we want that rotation to come at the spine and not at the hips. By having all your weight supported here, what ends up happening is your pelvis has the ability to open up and you end up losing all, all tension at the top of the row. So by forcing this leg and driving consciously, pushing this leg into the floor, the only rotation is gonna happen here at the spine. Your hips and pelvis can't move. So we wanna get locked down first. We want this driving hard into the floor. We want this hand pushing as hard as possible. So now we're supported, stabilized, and the only thing that's gonna move is gonna be this joint, which is actually what is, is where the lat is attached. So we talked about a vertical movement. So the first thing with any back thing, any back movement, is initiate, at the, um, initiate by retracting the scapula first. So before I ever row, I wanna get my scapula retracted here. So this is now an engaged my lat, and instead of rowing up, I want to row back. You see that? So here I'm working in that vertical plane movement. I'm rotating, pulling back. And I'm getting to a certain point where I can't pull back anymore, and that's when I think about bringing the elbow behind me. Okay, so it's going to be heavier than it probably normally feels. The movement may be a more limited than what you're used to doing. So we're not doing this. That's rear delt. We're thinking here. And own it at the top. When you get there, here, squeeze it. Get that lat fully, fully shortened, fully contracted. That's your greatest opportunity with this movement is here at the top. So let's get a couple, a couple dumbbells set up. Let's get everybody rolling. Extend. You can definitely feel the difference. Yeah. Retract back. Now, there you go. Yeah. Is that far enough? Yeah. Okay. You can't see it. Feel it. Keep this locked. Let, just let this go. Come back. Now squeeze. There. Come on. It's okay if you got to go in almost like a two-step process to get it down because mastering the movement first is what's going to be most important. We can increase load, we can increase weight later on, but we got to get the exercise mastered first. Good work, guys. Feedback, takeaway, thoughts, anybody kind of like getting anything from doing those? I know it's probably a little bit different yeah. than, than what you've done in the past. A lot, lot different movement. I'll tell you, you don't need much weight. Yeah. 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 You know, kind of coming up and down. Side away, it just feels like it's the yep. same as like 120 yep. that I yeah. normally pull. Yep. Yeah, because you're using the intended, the intended muscle. You're using one muscle, not a whole group of them. So I hope if anything, guys, like if you can take a few of these cues away and start applying them in your training, I can tell you back has been something I've really put a lot of work into for myself and a few other people that I've worked with. And it's, this has been one of the biggest things that has added to my, my, my width. Every guy wants big, wide yep. lats. It makes you look impressive in a t-shirt. It makes you look good in a suit. It makes you obviously look great with your shirt off. So I really hope you guys can take these cues away and start applying them.